Uh, what's going on next week on the show, Lewis? There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. We are going to hear from Robert Applebaum. He's going to come on to talk to us about why we should be um, forgiving student loan debt. I have some some questions for him on that because it uh, it's not it's a controversial topic. We'll also be talking to Wayne Besson from TruthWinsOut.org. Remember Wayne? It's it's actually funny the story with Wayne. We had Peter LaBarbera on from Americans for Truth about homosexuality. Not much truth going on there, by the way. And unprovoked, he criticized Wayne Besson. So he seems to really not like Wayne. We had Wayne on for like a minute and a half a couple of weeks ago. He was on some kind of bogus cell phone connection. We couldn't hear a word of anything he said. So we're going to have him back on. We'll find out why it is that Peter LaBarbera seems to be obsessed with what he's doing and also why it is that Peter LaBarbera seems to continue going to these gay events and just taking incredibly provocative photographs of people. But of course, it's just all news. It's all, it's just, it's just research. It's research and it's newsworthy for him. So we'll talk to both of them next week. And uh, we'll also do the iPad giveaway next week. Really just a lot of stuff going on. I, I can't even, I can't even get to it all. On today's bonus show, let me remind you, we'll talk about a church in Arizona that is being protested because it looks like a mosque, but it is not a mosque. It's a church. We'll also talk about the first actual death panels, more related to Jan Brewer in Arizona than to the crazy liberal health care reforms and a bizarre shooting of two twins that's being called a double suicide attempt. So that's all on the bonus show today. DavidPackman.com slash membership. Make sure you're getting that. And uh, let's go on to emails. Should we not, Lewis? Why not? No, I'm incorrect on that. We'll, we'll give the results of last week's poll. Last week's poll was if George W. Bush had done his book-related interviews before the election, the midterm election, would it have changed the outcome of the election? I was asked this on Sirius Radio over the weekend. I said my answer is no, it would not have changed anything. And 75% of the voters on our website agree. They say wouldn't have made a difference. 25% say yes. What was your thought on it? No, he didn't say anything new or interesting. The only new thing we heard was about what he said while drunk at the dinner table. Well, the waterboarding thing, I think, was the concern. N nothing new. He, that was all stuff he said before. All right. So, new poll. Was the Jewish doctor in Germany that we talked about earlier wrong for refusing to operate on a patient with a Nazi tattoo? DavidPackman.com. Vote. We'll have results next week. While you're there, I'm just saying, you're, you're going to be on the website voting. Sign up for the newsletter. You might as well. Let's go to emails, and you can email us through our website, davidpackman.com. Hey, Dave, I discovered your show. It's generally pretty good, but I don't think Lewis really adds anything to the show, and he even seems to dumb it down a bit. Other than that, it's okay. P.S., I'm sure Lewis is a nice guy. So a friend, I love how people like to throw that in there. Well, he doesn't want to come off as, as, a, you know, as a mean guy. Right. It's just his objective opinion of what's going on on the show. By the way, Lewis spells his name L-O-U-I-S. A lot of people misspelling it any number of ways. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Naked Cowboy, who we interviewed on, on Monday, Alex, who does our transcripts and captions for the show, he uh, wrote me, he said, hell of an interview with the Naked Cowboy. Jesus, 2012 is shaping up to be a worse carnival freak show than 2010. That's an understatement. I think 2012 will be absolutely epic. And a lot of people angry at the Naked Cowboy's anti-gay stance, albeit a confusing one. Uh, as a New Yorker, I had viewed the naked cowboy as a benign tourist pacifier. Now, now that I know he's an uninformed right-wing lunatic, I will pretend that Times Square doesn't exist at all. And I want to see a pale and naked cowboy ticket in 2012. There's an idea. Come on, Tea Party. Show America that you've got the, you know what, the size of Texas. Just try to pull a win out of that train wreck of a ticket. That would be an interesting ticket. Naked cowboy said he doesn't know who's going to be his running mate yet. So it could be. Sarah Palin. Palin does not want to be VP. Palin's <laughs> going for gold. No, no. Naked Cowboy as the VP. Oh, we'll see. And a uh, bunch of comments about our talk about whether Mitt Romney will have to re repudiate. I almost said repudiate. I'm getting so confused by all of the discussion of the word. Will Mitt Romney have to repudiate the Massachusetts health care system, which has the fewest number of uninsured people in the country to run for president? Romney will say or do whatever it takes, just like the majority of politicians, to get the nomination. I think he will be the nominee. Another email. Last I knew, Texas had the fewest people with health care. And now Rick Perry's looking into discontinuing Medicaid. I guess he thinks that will make him look good when he possibly runs for president in 2012. 
And lastly, there are folks at certain income levels that receive free health care under Mass Health. No deductible, no copay, no premium. I know laid off folks more than one who actually had foreclosure prevented because of that care. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The David Pakman Show is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time, with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and gazettenet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. Find out more about underwriting The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.